Just like the military has specialized elite units of soldiers, so too in the Catholic Church we have specialized elite communities of religious. Now they would never call themselves elite because that's not being humble. But in the Catholic Church, there's a lot of wonderful religious communities, um, and they all kind of have their own unique rule. And there's a very small number, part of their rule of life is getting up in the middle of the night. And it's based on this scripture or other scriptures that speak about being awake and alert in the middle of the night, just in case he comes. Also, the, you know, remember when the bridegroom comes and the virgins with the lamps, some had oil, some didn't. And so one, one community, for example, uh, they go to bed around 8 p.m. And then they wake up at 1 a.m. and spend two hours in the chapel together. Can you imagine prayer time from 1 a.m. to 3 a.m.? That's pretty intense. Who would, who would enjoy something like that? <laughs> and, then, and, and, and then they, I don't know what they do after, I think they have their own personal time after that, and I think they have a time during the day if they, or if they need to, they can take a nap. But again, they do this in response to the call to be vigilant and to be awake, even in the middle of the night. And they see themselves as being that small part of the Catholic Church that responds in a specific way to that call. They know not everyone is meant to do that, but they feel themselves that they're called to do that. And it's just the nature, too, of the Lord's creativity. Our God is wonderfully creative. If every religious community had the exact same routine, that'd be so boring. You know, as a matter of fact, I think we need more creativity. Remember uh, years ago, there was these, these monks, they lived on pillars up in the air. Talk about creative. We need to bring that back. Anyways, so these religious communities, very, very unique, f fulfilling a specific kind of response uh, to the gospel call, but there are some individuals who've done the same thing. For example, St. John Vianney. Have you heard of him, the curé of ours? He's the patron saint of all parish priests. He would get up every day at 1 a.m. And what's remarkable is they, they, they said 1 a.m. sharp. He was very kind of, you know, concise with his time. And then he'd get up 1 a.m., take his lamp, walk through the courtyard to his church, kneel in front of the altar, say some prayers, and then he'd start hearing women's confessions at like 1.30 in the morning. And guess what? Crowd of women waiting all night to go to confession to the holy priest. And then he'd basically hear confessions almost all day, do mass, other things. But very interesting. St. John Vianney, he only ate one meal a day at noon. And then after his little uh, lunch at noon, he'd take a nap. He'd rest for between half an hour and an hour. And he said, as long as he got his daily nap, he was fine. Because he would then go on to do ministry till around like 10 or 11 p.m. They say typically he didn't get much more than one hour of sleep a night. And he said all he needed was his nap. Who here likes taking naps? I guess I'm the only one. Well, there's some other ones. Okay. And then also St. Catherine of Siena, before she began, began her public, very intense, anointed, powerful ministry that set the whole of Europe on fire, before she began her public ministry and became the most powerful, influential person, not only in the church, but probably in all of Europe at the time, she spent a few years living as a hermit, hidden away in a room in, in her parents' house, and she would pray all night. She would pray all night long. And she was associated with the Dominicans, and she felt she knew there was a window of time at, at night where all the Dominicans were sleeping. And she felt it was her duty to stay awake during that window of time and to keep vigil and pray for the Dominicans as they slept. Isn't that amazing? Now, what's the point? The point is, is each one of us is called to find our own rhythm of life, 
our own personal rule or routine, our own, our own way of, of carrying uh, through our day that glorifies God and that helps us ideally to ma- remain in God's presence, recollected throughout the day. Because scripture says, from the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised.